Hello, my dear boys and girls. Welcome again. This is Miss May Badr, your English teacher. We will continue studying Connect 4. Today, we are going to study Unit 4, Lesson 1. I want to remind you to make sure that you bring your books to all our sessions. You should also bring along papers and a pen. That's all you need to enjoy our lessons together. So let's begin. Can you tell me who of you lives in an apartment building? يعني إيه apartment building؟ يعني شقة موجودة جوا building. Who lives in a house? So today we are going to talk about where do you live. So let's go to our smart board and look at our unit, unit four. Let's look at page 70. Look at the photo of the unusual house. What's unusual about it? يعني unusual في حاجة غريبة في البيت ده. Very good. The house is upside down. So the shape of the house is upside down. البيت بالمقلوب. وأكيد البيت ده ديكور. ما ينفعش الواحد طبعا يعيش في بيت مقلوب. So, what is unusual about the house? The house is upside down. Very good, my dear boys and girls. Now, let's move to the other page, page 71. Let's read the questions together first. لما يكون عندي speech bubble, دي معناها discussion. يعني ال questions دي مش هنجاوب عليها بالكتابة. هنجاوب عليها as a group discussion or pair discussion. Question number one. Why is this house unusual? Why the house is unusual? Very good. The house is unusual because of its shape, because it's upside down. Do you think it is in the city or the country and why? تفتكروا الهاوس ده موجود في المدينة أو موجود في بلد أو موجود في قرية موجود فين؟ why do you like or would do you like to live in an unusual house and why? تحب تعيش في بيت يكون unusual يكون فيه حاجة مش طبيعية أو مش زي كل البيوت وليه تحب تعيش في بيت زي ده؟ Now let's read together Did you know? Canada has some very unusual houses في بلد اسمها كندا عندها unusual houses كتير قوي في بيوت غريبة هناك كتير قوي. Some houses look like a cube. في بيوت بيبقى شكلها زي المكعبات زي المكعب. Other houses are made of ice. وكمان في بيوت معمولة من التلج. وطبعا دي بتحتاج درجات حرارة ساقعة جدا علشان يقدر الهاوس ده يسرفايف وطبعا it doesn't melt. Let's see the objective of our lesson. In this unit, I will listen, read, research, and write about different houses and places in a town. Practice making sentences with prepositions. فاكرين ال prepositions اللي قلنا عليها؟ ايه هما ال prepositions؟ Prepositions are words that are showing us the position or the place of, some, of, of something. طيب, let's see. Read and listen to a short story. Learn about the words with F and V. Write a fact file. وكتبنا قبل كده fact files كتيرة جدا. Research and make a poster. وبرضو قلنا ازاي نعمل research و poster. I want to ask you some questions. Has anyone been to Siwa Oasis? عارفين واحد سيوا؟ حد راحها قبل كده؟ طب. Has anyone seen a Nubian house? شفتوا بيت من بيوت النوبة؟ بيوت سيوا وبيوت النوبة جميلة جدا وبسيطة جدا. Can you say what's unusual about them? بيوت النوبة وبيوت سيوا من أحلى البيوت وأبسط البيوت. By the end of this unit, you will be able to answer the main question and the title, Where do you live? You will learn many new interesting things 
about the places. So now let's move to page 72 and look at the pictures at the top of the page. Let's look at page 72. What do you think the two people are talking about? Unit 4, Lesson 1, page 72. Exercise 1. Listen and read. Look at our lovely new apartment. It's fantastic. Which is your favorite room? For me, it's my bedroom. I can relax and do my homework quietly. My favorite is the living room with the balcony. I can see the whole street. Talia, can you help me organize the kitchen? That sounds good. Let's do it. So I am going to read it one more time and explain the words with you. Mom, look at our lovely new apartment. هما راحوا شقة جديدة وقلنا قبل كده شقة يعني apartment. Talia, it's fantastic. Fantastic is a strong word for good. يعني بدل ما نقول it's nice, it's good ممكن نستخدم كلمة زي كلمة fantastic Mom, which is your favorite room? إيه الغرفة المفضلة عندك؟ Talia, for me, it's my bedroom الأوضة اللي تاليا بتنام فيها I can relax and do my homework quietly تاليا بتحب الأوضة بتاعتها علشان هي بترتاح فيها وبتقدر تعمل الهومورك بتاعها بهدوء Mom, my favorite is the living room with the balcony. Mom, بتحب the living room علشان فيها بلكونة. I can see the whole street. وبتقدر تشوف من البلكونة كل الشارع. تاليا, can you help me organize the kitchen? وماما هنا بتطلب من تاليا إنها تساعدها علشان يوضبوا المطبخ. تاليا, that sounds good. Let's do it. لما حد يقول فكرة وتعجبنا ممكن نقول that sounds good. Now, let's look at exercise number two and answer the questions. Unit 4, Lesson 1, page 72, Exercise 2. Listen again and answer the questions. Look at our lovely new apartment. It's fantastic. Which is your favorite room? For me, it's my bedroom. I can relax and do my homework quietly. My favorite is the living room with the balcony. I can see the whole street. Talia, can you help me organize the kitchen? That sounds good. Let's do it. Where are mom and Talia? One more time. Where are mom and Talia? Mom and Talia are in their new apartment. So, mom and Talia. Mom and Talia are in their New apartment. وزي ما كل مرة بقول لكم we have to follow the capitalization and the punctuation rules. What are they talking about? هما بيكلموا عن إيه? They are talking about their favorite rooms. One more time. They are talking about their favorite rooms. So they are talking about their favorite rooms. What is mom's favorite room and why? إيه الأوضة اللي ماما بتحبها? Very good. 
Mom's favorite room is the living room with the balcony. Why? Because she can see the whole street. So her or mom likes the living room with the balcony so she can see the whole street the whole street very good my dear boys and girls let's read the text one more time mom look at our lovely new apartment talia it's fantastic mom which is your favorite room talia for me it's my bedroom i can relax and do my homework quietly mom my favorite is the living room with the balcony i can see the whole street talia can you help me organize the kitchen that sounds good let's do it after answering exercise number two we will go to exercise number three look at the pictures a b c d e and f take a look at the pictures Number one, kitchen. يعني إيه kitchen؟ يعني المطبخ. Number two, bedroom. Bedroom هي أوضة النوم اللي بيكون فيها السرير بتاعنا اللي بننام عليه. Three, bathroom. Bathroom هو الحمام. Four, living room. Living room هي أوضة المعيشة اللي بنقعد فيها ممكن to watch TV and to play with our Uh, sisters and brothers. Number four, dining room, وهي أوضة السفرة. Number six, balcony, اللي هي البلكونة. Number one is a kitchen. Where is the kitchen? Which picture? Very good. Picture C is the kitchen. تاني kitchen يعني المطبخ. Number two, bedroom. Where's the bedroom? Which picture? A or B or D or E or F? Bedroom, the room that has a bed. Of course, room D. Number three, bathroom. Which one is the bathroom? On the bathroom, el hammam. Which one is the bathroom? E. Very good. So number three will be E. Number four, the living room. قلنا الأوضة اللي ممكن بنقعد نلعب فيها مع إخواتنا ونتفرج على التلفزيون. Which room? It has a couch وفيها كنبة. Which room is it? F. Very good. How about the dining room? يعني إيه dining room? يعني أوضة السفرة. Very good. So number five will be Picture B. The last one, number six, balcony. حتى جاية من العربي بنقول بلكونة. So in English it's balcony, in Arabic بلكونة. Which one is the balcony? Very good, A. Very good, my dear boys and girls. Now I want you to look again at the pictures. You will hear six sentences. I am going to say now six sentences and you will point to the room that I will describe. Are you ready? Let's begin. Number one. I cook food in this room. Again, I cook food in this room. Which room is it? Very good. The kitchen. So, I cook food in the kitchen. Number two. I sleep 
in this room. Again, number two, I sleep in this room. Which room is it? Of course, the bedroom, the room that has a bed. Number three, I talk to my family and I watch television in this room. Which room is it? The living room. Very good, my dear boys and girls. It has a couch. Very good. Number four, I take a shower in this room. Excellent. The bathroom. We take shower in the bathroom. Number five. I live to sit I love to sit here. I can see the people in the street. Excellent. The balcony. We can see the people from the balcony. Number six. I eat dinner with my family here. We eat dinner in this room. Very good. The dining room audit is sofra. Very good, my dear boys and girls. Now, I want you to look at the pictures in exercise number five, page 73. Look at the pictures. Are they all houses? No. Can you live in them? Yes, why not? Now, look at the sentences and read the example. Decide which house fits in each sentence. Remember to copy the labels carefully and correctly. You can check your answers in the next activity. So, number one. My grandparents live in a cave. The rooms of their house are in the rock. Inside it's never too hot or too cold. Cave يعني كهف. فاللي بيكلم هنا بيقول my grandparents جده وجدته عايشين في كهف جوه روك والوذر عندهم حلو قوي It is not too hot, not too cold Number two My aunt moved to a new with her family They are very happy because they have a big balcony تفتكروا البالكني دي هتكون فين In a house, in a tent, in a cave in an apartment or in a houseboat. What do you think? Number two, my aunt moved to a new apartment. Very good. Let's write the word apartment together. Number three. My friend and her family live on a... It's small, but she loves living on water. تفتكروا آني مكان هنا مرتبط بالمية. تعالوا نقرأ كلمات تاني. House, tent, cave, apartment, house, boat. So, what do you think? Very good. House, boat. So, my friend and her family live on a house boat. It is small, but she loves living on water. Let's go to number four. In the desert, some people live in a... This home is made of cloth. يعني إيه cloth يعني قماش. إيه البيت اللي معمول هنا من القماش وبيبقى موجود في الصحراء. Very good. A tent. Excellent. So in the desert, some people live in a tent. This home is made of cloth. 
Very good, my dear boys and girls. Number five. I love living in a because it is big. My grandparents live with us. I can play outside with my brother and sister. Which one is it? Very good. A house. Excellent. So, I love living in a house. I love living in a house because it's big. My grandparents live with us. I can play outside with my brother and sister. Now we will listen to the audio exercise number six. Listen and check. We will listen to this part again and we will check our answers. Unit four, lesson one, page 73. Exercise six. Listen and check. One. My grandparents live in a cave. The rooms of their house are in the rock. Inside, it's never too hot or too cold. Two. My aunt moved to a new apartment with her family. They are very happy because they have a big balcony. Three. My friend and her family live on a houseboat. It's small, but she loves living on water. Four. In the desert, some people live in a tent. This home is made of cloth. Five. I love living in a house because it is big. My grandparents live with us. I can play outside with my brother and sister. Okay. Now, let's move to exercise number seven. I will read the speech bubble aloud while you follow and listen. I live in an apartment. My favorite room is the living room. I play games with my brother in the living room. Where do you live? I live in a house. There is a living room and three bedrooms. When I see a speech bubble, it means to discuss with my friend, to talk together. The discussion ده بيبقى مهم جدا because it improves our fluency. هنقدر إن إحنا نطور اللغة بتاعتنا عن طريق the discussion. So when I see questions with speech bubble, it means to talk and to discuss with your friend. Very good, my dear boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed our lesson today. Next time, you will know more about different houses. We are going to have loads of fun as usual. See you next time. Bye-bye.